So I use uh, a bunch of things. One is um, Final Cut Pro. Uh, <laughs> that's for video stuff, but always um, taking time to edit for the appropriate size. Like, you know, don't make a, well, I'm saying don't make, but this is just one person's opinion. You know, if you're gonna make like a YouTube video, that's the normal side, you know, the normal uh, landscape, you know, make an edit that's portrait so that you can post it on Instagram or Instagram stories and it looks native to that platform. Now, if you look at my stuff, I don't always follow my own advice, but if you have the time and you have the resources to do it, it can it, it does perform better if you take the time to do that. So learning a little bit of editing, you, as you're a student, before you're not a student anymore, I highly recommend buying with, with the Apple education discount, you can get Logic and Final Cut Pro for 200 bucks. And it comes with MainStage and a few other softwares, but it's way cheaper than you're gonna be able to get it afterwards. And it's not a subscription. So if you just buy it now, I know maybe it's a little expensive, but you'll, it's way better than future. And it comes with Logic and Final Cut. So you can get, because it's Final Cut is way more pow powerful than iMovie. Um, iMovie is extremely frustrating. I mean, our company, we do have like the Adobe stuff. So there's a really great app for making like little graphics. There's two that we use for um, like editing photos on mobile. And well, I guess there's three. There's one called Color Story that is pretty good at uh, do adjusting colors in an app. There's one called Over, O-V-E-R. That's good for making like pretty looking graphics. Uh, I use another one called Adobe Spark. That's another one that's pretty good for making graphics. It also does animations. You can do like little text animations uh, and things like that. Uh, those three, Color Story. Oh, and if you're like a, a person that wants to like adjust like faces and stuff like that, you wanna get into that. There's an app called Facetune that a lot of people use uh, for adjusting like how people look in photos and stuff like that. So if you wanna do any of that. So those are a couple apps and then we use Final Cut Pro and I use Logic personally. There's different like scheduling softwares that you can check out. Eventually found that none of them are worth the price that they cost. The, the best one is called Sprout, S-P-R-O-U-T. Sprout Social, I think is what the full name, but they, it's like a hundred something bucks a month. And you, you can schedule in your Instagram and schedule in your YouTube and Facebook from that tool. But um, I don't know, I've never stuck with any of those things. And I've always found just doing it manually usually yields better, better results, even though it seems like a pain in the neck. Those are some softwares. I'm trying to think if there's any other like software we use regularly. Yeah, Final Cut Pro, <laughs> spreadsheets, and uh, you know, Dropbox and things like that. Just normal, just the normal kind of file sharing stuff. It's not like rocket science, you know. It's thinking ahead. That's all. Just thinking, trying to think ahead and think about what your brand is and how it should look and how it should feel, and then trying to keep it consistent. You know.